Monsieur le Président, je passe la parole au Premier ministre de la République hellénique, Monsieur Kyriakos Mitsotakis. Cher Kyriakos. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Let me start by thanking President Macron for hosting today's conference, which unfortunately is taking place against a the backdrop of an escalating humanitarian crisis uh, in the region. We deplore the loss of life of uh, innocent civilians. Our first thoughts are with the families uh, of the victims, as well as with the families of the hostages. And of course, we're deeply concerned with the escalation on the ground in the past days. Uh, I would like to thank in particular all the humanitarian agencies uh, on the ground uh, and to express my condolences. Uh, for the loss of, loss of life of those uh, who have put their own life at risk in order to save uh, uh, others. Uh, uh, Greece, uh, together with Cyprus, is a country in the immediate neighborhood, uh, and uh, we stand ready to contribute to any effort for the uh, alleviation of the suffering. Uh, we have already sent um, a first shipment of humanitarian uh, assistance uh, by air, um, uh, to the El Arish, uh, airport, and given the proximity uh, of Greece to Sinai, we would stand ready to play an important role uh, in this newly established um, uh, air uh, corridor that could provide uh, assistance uh, very quickly uh, in order for this assistance to enter Gaza, Gaza from, um, uh, from the south. We've also um, discussed extensively uh, with Cyprus our contribution to the idea of a sea corridor. And we very much um, support what was said by uh, President uh, Christodoulidis uh, in terms of uh, uh, providing um, um, humanitarian assistance to Gaza uh, at an increased uh, volume, which only uh, a ship can uh, provide. Uh, the Cypriot proposal is uh, well thought out. I think the most uh, difficult aspect is to identify a proper uh, landing zone uh, in Gaza, in southern Gaza, uh, to establish the necessary port infrastructure, uh, and of course to ensure uh, the safety uh, of, uh, of the route, which would need the cooperation of all actors involved. Uh, if these um, uh, preconditions uh, are, uh, are met, uh, Greece would stand ready to provide uh, naval assets to assist uh, with this um, uh, project and would be uh, looking to uh, all uh, involve actors um, um, to help us with possible logistics, especially those uh, who know the uh, geography of the uh, area um, uh, in uh, much more uh, detail. Um, I will not um, repeat uh, the positions uh, of, uh, of Greece when it comes um, uh, to the overall um, uh, conflict. This is not uh, a time or a place uh, to do so. Let me just uh, conclude, Mr. President, by um, repeating what you said, uh, the necessity um, to start discussing now about a possible political uh, solution uh, to this conflict, which eventually will be uh, the only possible way uh, to ensure uh, a lasting uh, peace uh, in the area. Uh, Palestinian statehood uh, is a precondition uh, for a long-term um, peace in the region. Uh, and the two-state two solution, the only uh, possible avenue that we can pursue uh, in order to get to that result. Thank you very much.